Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! You can blame artificial sweeteners for some of those strange and awful aftertaste experiences. In my opinion, the worst one by far is the lingering taste and odor of bug spray after I drink grape juice or eat Oreo cookies. Tell me in the comments below about any of your weird aftertaste experiences with artificial sweeteners. It's not just diet sodas and junk foods. You would be amazed how many thousands of products are marketed as healthy foods and actually contain these poisonous artificial sweeteners. Look at yogurt labels, juice boxes, children's medicines, vitamins. Anything that says it's low sugar or no added sugar probably contains these toxic substitutes. Please read the label. Please save your life and the lives of your precious children. Throw it away. Here is just one example out of thousands of children's products. Kids vitamins are supposed to be healthy, right? Well then, what's going on with Flintstones vitamins, which proudly claims to be pediatrician's number one choice? Produced by the global pharmaceutical corporation Bayer, this wildly successful brand features a shocking list of unhealthy ingredients, including aspartame, cupric oxide, coal tar artificial coloring agents, FD&C blue number two, red number 40, yellow number six, zinc oxide, sorbitol, ferrous fumarate, DL-alpha tocopherol, synthetic vitamin E, hydrogenated oil, soybean, GMO cornstarch. And now a few headlines to get your attention. Sucralose should carry a big red warning label as it kills your beneficial gut bacteria and accumulates in your fat tissue. All artificial sweeteners are toxic to your gut bacteria. Researchers call for new safety review in light of evidence showing sucralose is metabolized and stored in fat tissue. Sucralose linked to liver, kidney, and thymus damage. Sucralose raises risk of type 2 diabetes. Many people have reported side effects from using Splenda, which is the brand name of sucralose. These symptoms range from mild to severe. Here's a list of common symptoms usually noticed within a 24-hour period following consumption of a Splenda product. Skin, redness, itching, swelling, blistering, weeping, crusting, rash, eruptions, or hives itchy bumps or welts. Lungs, wheezing, tightness, cough, or shortness of breath. Head, swelling of the face, eyelids, lips, tongues, or throat. Headaches and migraines, severe headaches. Nose, stuffy nose, runny nose, clear, thin discharge, sneezing, Eyes, red and bloodshot, itchy, swollen, or watery. Stomach, bloating, gas, pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or bloody diarrhea. Heart, palpitations, or fluttering. Joints, joint pains, or aches. Neurological, 
anxiety, dizziness, spaced out sensation, depression. There is no shortage of scientific studies for those who are curious to understand the toxic effects that artificial sweeteners are having on your body. If you go to Google Scholar and type in aspartame or sucralose or acesulfame, you will find tens of thousands of scientific papers. Please, please, even if you read only a few headlines and summaries of these papers, Perhaps you will be motivated to stop consuming these poisons and save your life. All of these links are also provided below the video in the description. Numbers 1 and 2. The artificial sweetener Splenda promotes gut protobacteria, dysbiosis, and myeloperoxidase reactivity in Crohn's disease, like ileitis, 2018. This study found Splenda consumption may exacerbate gut inflammation and intensify symptoms in people with Crohn's disease by promoting harmful gut bacteria. Number 3. Pharmacokinetics of sucralose and acesulfame potassium in breast milk following ingestion of diet soda. 2018. This study found sucralose shows up in breast milk after consumption. Considering the effects of sucralose on beneficial gut bacteria, organ health, and metabolism, this is a rather crucial piece of information for pregnant women as it may have significant ramifications for their baby's health. Number four. Other research shows sucralose is so ubiquitous it's even found in groundwater and sanitary wastewater. It persists through sewage treatment and may therefore be present in your drinking water as well. Number five. The Journal of Physiology, 2013. This study demonstrated that your body is not fooled by sweet taste without accompanying calories, which is yet another reason why artificial sweeteners promote obesity. Number six. When you eat something sweet, your brain releases dopamine, which activates your brain's reward center. The appetite-regulating hormone, leptin, is also released, which eventually informs your brain that you are full once a certain amount of calories have been ingested. When you consume something that tastes sweet but doesn't contain any calories, your brain's pleasure pathway still gets activated by the sweet taste. But there's nothing to deactivate it, since the calories never arrive. Artificial sweeteners basically trick your body into thinking that it's going to receive calories, but when the calories fail to arrive, your body continues to signal that it needs more, which results in cravings for carbohydrates. Number 7. The effect of sucralose on flavor sweetness in electronic cigarettes varies between delivery devices. 2017. Sucralose is found in a wide variety of products, and not just food. It's also commonly added to drugs, often without being listed on the label, and even e-cigarette liquids. This study found sucralose contributes sweet taste only when used in a cartridge system and chemical analysis showed the use of a cartridge system also raised the concentration of sucralose in the aerosol. According to authors, quote, Together, these findings indicate that future regulation of sweet flavor additives should focus first on the volatile constituents of e-liquids, with the recognition that artificial sweeteners 
may also contribute to flavor sweetness depending upon e-cigarette design. Numbers 8 and 9, while this study did not look at the health effects, previous research has shown sucralose, when heated, releases potentially carcinogenic chloropropanols, which are part of a class of toxins known as dioxins. Number 10, gut microbiome response to sucralose and its potential role in inducing liver inflammation in mice, 2017. Echoing the research discussed earlier in this article, this study also found that sucralose alters, quote, the developmental dynamics of the gut microbiome, end quote, and that the sweetener may thus play a role in chronic inflammation. Number 11. The non-caloric sweeteners aspartame, sucralose, and stevia induce specific but differential responses to compartmentalized adipose tissue ac accumulation. 2017. In this study, consumption of sucralose resulted in weight gain, elevated blood glucose, and body fat accumulation. Number 12. Popular sweetener sucralose as a migraine trigger, 2006. As noted by the authors, quote, This observation of a potential causal relationship between sucralose and migraines may be important for physicians to remember this can be a possible trigger during dietary history taking. Identifying further triggers for migraine headaches, in this case sucralose, may help alleviate some of the cost burden through expensive medical therapy or missed work opportunity, as well as provide relief to migraineurs. Number 13. The San Antonio Heart Study of 2005 Data gathered from the San Antonio Heart Study, which went on for 25 years, showed drinking diet soft drinks increased the likelihood of serious weight gain, far more so than regular soda. On average, for each diet soft drink the participants drank per day, they were 65% more likely to become overweight during the next 7 to 8 years and 41% more likely to become obese. Number 14. Genotoxicity testing of low-calorie sweeteners. Aspartame, acesulfame K, and saccharin, 2008. Conclusion of the authors, quote, These findings are important since they represent a potential health risk associated with exposure to these agents.